purpose of this video is to show you how simple it is to recalibrate your laptop battery and to see how many times I can say recalibrate your laptop battery during this presentation. There are several reasons why you would need to recalibrate your laptop battery. One major reason is to increase battery performance. In order to recalibrate your laptop battery, you'll first need to charge your battery to 100%, then completely discharge your battery to 0%, and finally recharge it back to 100%. And that's all you have to do to recalibrate your laptop battery. Now be sure that you consult with the battery documentation supplier or manufacturer to find out when and how often you should recalibrate your battery. In some cases you may do this once a month to achieve optimum performance. Before we proceed we will create a custom power plan setting to achieve a complete battery discharge. To create the custom power plan go down to your start menu, click and then go to control panel. In the classic view it should show your power options. You can double click this. Then go create a power plan. Click high performance. Give it a custom name like battery discharge. Click next. Then on, under battery make sure you turn off the display to show it never. Put the computer to sleep never create and the battery discharge should be highlighted as the current power plan. You can verify this by going down to your launch pad and verifying that it is selected. And now you've created a custom power plan for the battery discharge cycle that you will perform as needed. If for some reason you need to delete the custom power plan that you just created, I'll show you how. You simply go back to the control panel. Under power options, you find the power plan that you want to delete. You can select change plan settings. And in this case, there is no delete button. So I have to go back and verify that this isn't the current plan selected. So you go back to your power meter icon under the launch, a quick launch area, and select a different power plan other than the one you're going to delete. Once you do that, you go back to power options and edit plan settings and you will see a delete button. To achieve the first step of charging your battery to 100%, it's as simple as taking the AC adapter for your laptop, plugging it into an electrical outlet, and connecting it back to your laptop and waiting until your battery is fully charged. You can verify that your laptop battery is fully charged by taking your mouse cursor and hovering over the power meter icon on the launch pad of your screen and verifying that it says in fact 100 percent available. The second step is to fully discharge the battery to zero percent. In order to do this you simply go back down to the power meter icon at the quick launch area and click on this once and select the power plan of choice which would be the battery discharge that we created. Then you simply unplug the AC adapter from your laptop and wait until the laptop shuts down which would mean the battery has reached 0%. Once you have completed step 2, your laptop battery is fully discharged, then you can plug the AC adapter back into your laptop and turn your laptop back on and eventually the battery will be recharged back to 100%. You can monitor the status by going down to the power meter icon at the quick launch area of your screen and hovering over it or clicking on it. You can also change the preferred power plan at any time during this recharge. If you don't see a power option there then you can click on more power options and show additional plans and select the power plan of choice. This concludes our video on how to calibrate a laptop battery. We hope it was informative. Please visit appbat.com for more videos and all your battery needs. Thank you.